Hi guys, it's me again, Jay, your tech buddy. For today's video, I would like to share with you how to use DMX Remote Trigger using Avolite Titan. On this tutorial, we need to have these three key things. At first, you need to have your main console. For this tutorial, I'm using Tiger Touch 2. And secondly, for our DMX remote trigger, I am using a Pearl Tiger. And lastly, one of the most important, you need to have a special cable, uh, which is DM, uh, DMX cable, uh, mail to mail, XLR cable. I just convert this one because this one's a 3 pin and going to 5 pin cable. The first thing we need to do is to patch the two consoles so they can talk to each other. So we will using this 5 pin XLR. Okay, now I'm patching this one to output D. And for the remote, I will patching on output one. For our second step, we need to patch dimmer on our uh, Pearl Tiger console. Okay, okay, press patch, dimmer, and make sure it's on DMX line A, which where we uh, patch our XLR cable. The second thing we need to do is to patch dimmer on our uh, Ableize Pearl console. Okay. okay, press patch, dimmer, and make sure when you're selecting DMX line, you must select which line you patch uh, your DMX cable, which is uh, line A. Okay, let me patch here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it's already patched here. The next thing we need to do is to save cues on our uh, playback area here. So what we need to do is one dimmer or one playback. Okay, for now I will uh, do uh, three cues first, so we can uh, make the tutorial faster. Okay, select. Go for dimmer, memory queue, see, so we have one, exit clear, we take another one again, select, 100%, memory queue, this one, and exit clear, one more, select, percent, Memory queue. Okay. Now we have our three queues. The function of these three queues is to send uh, DMX signal to our Ableix Tiger Touch. After you finish creating queues on your Pearl Tiger, what you need to do is to go to your uh, Ableix Tiger Touch 2 to, and go to a DMX setting. How to go there? So press and hold Able and this okay I will show you a soft key and uh, select DMX setting okay as you can see here you have this physical output of output A B C and D as you remember earlier we I, I patched the DMX uh, cable on output D so what we will do now is to take out the output D why we need to do this because once you take out this output D on uh, physical patch, the physical uh, output will become a DMX uh, DMX input. So what will happen is the uh, Pearl Tiger uh, output will receive by uh, our Tiger Touch 2. Hmm. After we finish uh, setting up our DMX uh, input and output, the next thing is we need to do uh, patch some fixtures and uh, create some cues under 
these are playback works other workspace most playbacks these are playbacks i have first one second one and the third one these are the cues we will uh, trigger later okay next what we need to do is we need to create a folder or category for for the triggers all you need all you need to do is to press plus here then i show here enter the name of the new mapping okay then you now we are using pearl okay pearl and press ok okay now it's here the next thing we need to do is to assign our playback on the triggers okay. first we need to add trigger when you press add trigger you will see some button here make sure this your level match on and you make sure also that trigger type is item because we are using the playback section here which is the soft touch key because he got one more what you call trigger type hardware hardware is representing if you triggering the the cues from your faders so for now we are using item okay and for this one is a uh, action is set level after pressing add trigger and check all the necessary setting the next thing is we need to select uh, our first queue so we select q1 so here's what i say set stimulus that will trigger q1 then this is the incoming level monitor the next thing is we need to trigger the pearl uh, evil edge console okay by pushing this fader you will see the value on the incoming value on the monitor which is sending a dmx signal okay you just put in full then press add now we have our first trigger to create the second uh, and third the next thing we'll do is we we'll bring down this one first press the second q press ok then push the second fader okay from here second fader okay put it on full press add again bring down the fader then select another queue again press ok and trigger the last uh the third queue here okay then press ok okay and now we are done assigning the triggers okay these are the triggers now i exit clear okay and now this is our capture visualizer okay let me do the testing on first queue okay as you can see here it triggers our playback okay. the second queue and your last queue okay okay i'll make the screen bigger so you can see the response next queue and the last queue and that's it for today hope you have fun and learn something from this tutorial if you want to find out more like this video please like and subscribe on my channel and if you have any question or suggestion you can comment down below once again this is jay your tech buddy signing off